guys so this is a day after I blew my hair out um, and I'm just raking it through just a little bit I'm very surprised that my ends are looking so well but you know what <laughs> based on last year's incident I made sure to clip my ends um, at this point, it would have been four times this year that I trimmed my ends. Yeah, girl, give you a little shimmy shake. So I'm going to do two hairstyles for you guys. Going to turn around to the pan, pan around to the back, excuse me, to show you what the back looks like. Very, very healthy. I'm very proud of myself because I made sure this year to really pay attention um, to my hair and not do too much. Yeah, I'm sneaking to myself. Sorry. So I'm just going to do two hairstyles. One quick, simple hairstyle. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know I'm extra. One quick, simple hairstyle, and then we're going to do an updo, okay? Um, show you what I'm using. Yes, surprise, Blue Magic Grease. And I may use some hair gel. I'm not sure yet. These are the tools I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this is the first hairstyle and honestly this is how I thought I would wear my hair out. However, we are going to be outdoors most of the evening. We're going to an outdoor festival and I just don't want my hair flying about all the way, all around, excuse me. But if we were going out to eat somewhere, I would have definitely left my hair like this. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to pull the pompadour down some in the front to give it more um, volume. Yeah, right girl. <laughs> so yeah, first hairstyle. But what I decided to do is go ahead and put my hair in an updo. Um, you guys, I get inspiration from just about anything, and lately I've been looking at your craning and wedding hairstyles. I know, crazy, but they have very detailed updos, and so this particular hairstyle is influenced by that. Excuse the background noise. I'm going to be using just a little bit of the Blue Magic hair grease, almost as, not necessarily almost like a pomade to help with the flyaways just a little bit in certain sections brushing this hair down now what I'm going to be doing is taking this section right here using a stretchy headband um, tying it towards the bottom and I'm going to bobby pin this side up to make it look like a low bun I have so much hair though that so you see how it looks like that okay I have so much hair that I really have to get get um, creative on how I can pin it up but I'm gonna make it work out okay <laughs> So now what I'm doing you guys is taking those larger sections and basically crisscrossing them towards the back. If I had time I would do it in smaller sections so you can see the detail of the crisscross. So where it almost looks like a weave or is weaving. Um, basket weave almost um, so yeah I have to do larger sections because we're running out of time I'll turn around to the back slowly so you can see what that looks like see see that right there all right and so now I need to do something with the front of my hair um, again taking a little bit more hair grease and I'm just going to um, roll it I don't know what you call this almost do like a roll tuck and um, twist the ends to make it easier to bobby pin up and that is it you guys real simple I can maintain a hairstyle like this for about two to three days as long as I wear a hair scarf at night and yeah I will be coming back on cam possibly to do at least one more other style on this blown out hair but we shall see okay <laughs> Alright 
y'all so here is the finished look and I do apologize I didn't realize how close I was to the cam um yeah so this is what it looks like I got tons of compliments on this hairstyle and you know what? I didn't even use the gel at all I'm not really concerned about that I, I like my hair like this with a little bitty flyaway so if you're looking for a slicker look absolutely you can use hair gel here's the other side and yeah I'm gonna have JB take a few pictures of me towards the end and that is it you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye